Hi, I'm Kevin, and this is a Kevin's Shop video. In this video, I want to show you how I made these trusses. Um, I'm building a storage shed, and these trusses are uh, span a 12-foot width on my building. I needed to come up with a way to press these truss plates into the wood. So what I found is I went ahead and took a, a bearing press that I had, and normally the working area for this bearing press is in this area here. And what I did is I extended it down so now the working area is closer to the floor, and this now is 11 inches off the floor, which matches the height of these uh, milk crates, which will allow me to assemble the truss and then be able to press the, these uh, truss plates into the wood. Okay, the other thing I did with this bearing press is I uh, removed the brace on this side, which was mounted on this side with a couple bolts. And then what that does is it allows me to tip this up and then lower it down inside the truss so that I can uh, press these different uh, truss places in the different locations. And what I did is I put this on a, this is a mover dolly, which has four wheels and allows me to move it around easily. Okay, so I've cut all the pieces for my truss and I've laid them out on the floor uh, and kind of lined them up. And then um, one of the first things I do is I put a mark on this bottom board of the truss uh, in the middle, uh, uh, with a, uh, measure that with the measuring tape. And then using a speed square, I can kind of set up this truss and make sure that it's square and straight and everything fits. Another thing that I have is I have this uh, straight edge, which then I can really uh, set up and line up. By doing that, I can make sure my truss is all lined up. And then I put a couple marks in here where these boards are supposed to intersect the bottom board on both sides. <clears throat> and then the next thing I do is I will measure, make some marks on each side to show where these, where these boards line up. And that allows me to make sure everything's in place for when I press the plates in so that it will be uh, square. So, okay, well, now what I've done is I've set up the truss uh, up on these mill crates and I've positioned my press uh, on this first plate. And you can see here, this is the alignment marks that I drew on each end uh, when it was laid out on the floor and everything was trued up and square. And one thing I do, uh, I keep checking, is the height of the overall truss. In this instance, it's 28 inches, so I always keep checking that to make sure that everything's in alignment. So that's an important step so that uh, your trusses are, are uniform shape and size. Okay, so I'm ready to press this truss plate into place. So I put it in the right location here. And then what I have is, a, this is a half inch piece of steel that matches the size of the plates. I put that on top of the plate. And we're ready to press it in. Now one thing I do is always make sure that those are up nice and tight with each other. Go ahead and press it in. And there you go. Uh, press, press the plate right into position. I wanted to show you how I position this uh, bearing press for some of the joints that where the press has to straddle this truss itself. So what I do is I pull this pin and let this table go down and then I can rock this up and let it straddle the truss. And I can raise the table and 
install the pin, and then I'm ready to press a plate again. This particular plate uh, is tricky because they have four boards coming together. This is at the very top of the truss. So what I do is I use some clamps uh, to help me keep things in position. I measure my distance from the top to the bottom, which in this case is 28 inches. I'm going to go ahead and make sure everything is up nice and snug and tight. Position the plate. And put this half inch piece of steel on top there. And I check to make sure everything's nice and tight. Then I can go ahead and press this one in. Okay, there we go, that one's done. Okay, I'm continuing on. I've been pressing the plates uh, on my truss here. I've done one side and I flipped over on the other side. And I wanted to tell you that sometimes they don't press down flush all the way. So what you can do is you can position uh, the plunger of the press in a particular area that you need to get snug down. Uh, this side's a little bit high over here, so I'm going to just... Uh, Press a little bit over in that one area just to get the plate to be nice and flush. There we go. So I completed the truss. I worked it on one side, flipped it over, and then pressed all the plates on the back side. The back side is a lot easier, of course, because everything's in position. And then anyway, uh, I made sure everything's nice and tight and flush. And uh, that's how I made a truss, using a bearing press. Thank you.